On International Holocaust Memorial Day, not only do we pay tribute and remember all of those who lost their lives to a hideous ideology that we call Nazism, but we must also redouble our efforts and recommit to ensuring that nothing like this ever happens again. People in Germany have done a very good job of uh, ensuring that mem memories are kept alive and that the awful camps that were used to exterminate people are used as an education resource. And anyone who's visited those uh, camps, those memorials, can't fail to be moved by the horror of the story but also, I believe, can't fail to be moved to commit to ensuring that it never happens again. We've seen many worrying developments in politics in recent years. And while there may be good news coming out of the United States with Donald Trump losing his election, we only need to look at France to see where the far right is picking up support. The ideas in a crisis of far-right Nazi and fascist ideologies will be attractive to people who feel that the political system and democracy is not working for them. And we need to look at that. We need to look at who is benefiting and who is losing out from the current set of crises and uh, the, the sets of crises that we've had going back through uh, austerity um, for the last at least uh, a decade. Many, many working people feel that the system has left them behind. They are looking for something different and they are looking for strong leadership in some cases that can get them out of the mess that they're in. Unless mainstream politics is prepared to address this issue, then we can look at potentially repeating the mistakes of history. So we must ensure that people don't have the grievance of feeling that the democratic processes are not for them and are leaving them behind. We need to make sure that there isn't an elite, an establishment that is benefiting very well from the political processes because those are the conditions where this kind of politics will breed. Lastly, we must look out for each other. Hate speech breeds hate actions and people get hurt. It's minorities that are on the front line of this. All minorities. We need to stand together. We need to stand with people who are in minority groups. And we need to stand against the rhetoric and actions of hate that result in people getting hurt and this kind of politics getting even more of a foothold. I very much hope that we can uh, see on Holocaust Memorial Day more people learning about what happened in our history, more people being determined to make sure that history doesn't repeat itself, and more people wanting to create a world where everybody can just be, can, we can all live together in peace and harmony without anybody having to be supreme or over or above anybody else because at the base of this, at the root of this, it's supremacy that causes these uh, atrocities and that's what we mustn't allow to thrive in our society.